Hey everyone, I am very excited to share another tutorial with you and in today's tutorial we are going to make a survey and we're going to do it via a WordPress plugin called SurveyMaker. By the way, it is top survey plugin in WordPress right now and we're going to look into its free features. It also has pro version, we might also look into that. And all you need to do is being attentive. Let's start! In order to start creating a survey, you need to download and activate pl the plugin if you don't already have one or if you haven't already downloaded our survey maker plugin so you need to go to plugins search the name download it activate it and after you will see its icon pop up in your wordpress dashboard okay so immediately after activating the plugin you can see its icon pop up on your wordpress dashboard and you need to click on your survey maker icon and here is the screen, actual screen, and here you can see all the surveys that I've already made. And in order to make a new one, you need to click on Add New. And here is the general settings. Okay, so here comes the general settings. And the first part is the title, your survey title, which you can hide because this is not the actual questionnaire part. So I'm going to make a service satisfaction survey and that is what I'm going to name it naturally. And after that comes the actual questionnaire, the general settings you will see written. And we are going to title the survey right here. So I'm going to title mine as customer service satisfaction survey template. And right under your title, you can also write description or you can skip that part. It's not necessary after comes the questions. So you can make different types of questions. Here you can see the question types it can be name, it can be date, it can be paragraph. Uh, you have to choose and you have to match your question type to your actual question. And you can also insert pictures to your questions, which is actually great destruction. You can insert one or two um, pictures to one or two questions. Do not overuse or overload your questionnaire with pictures because it might not be mobile friendly. Also another tip is not to make too many questions with um, paragraph answers. Uh, try to keep your survey simple and short in order not to make one that is time consuming. You can also make your questions required if you don't want your four filler to skip the question. And you can also add sections, which I have, I'm not going to do in this um, questionnaire, but it is possible to do so. So this is the general settings part and all the important tools. So our next section is our style settings. So your survey style, which is very important. You have to brand your survey. You have to make it match to your uh, website it shouldn't be alien on your website and survey maker actually has all the necessary necessary tools to make your survey pop to brand it and um, to just make a survey that will work for you and for your customers so here we have themes uh, classic light classic dark and minimal uh, you can also choose your survey color all our buttons have hints, hint icons, so uh, you will not be lost if you don't know what that certain button is doing. You can just put your, uh, you can just click on the hit button and you can see, uh, for example, a survey color is to specify the main color of the survey. And here we have also survey uh, the par parameters, which is very important. 
uh, you have to make a survey that is going to be also mobile friendly, so choose wisely. You can also uh, make a cover photo, which is um, actually important. It gives idea of what is your survey about. It is um, also great instruction and yeah, that's it. So you can also choose question styles, uh, the fonts, uh, question images, their sizes, answer styles, and we have a whole bunch of um, ways to style your survey. We, uh, you can also add custom CSS. And that's it about our style section. Okay, so the next section that we are going to check out and which is uh, very important is the actual settings, Sur survey settings. You um, have to be very attentive in here because uh, there are many um, tools that uh, can be very important. For example, you can categorize your uh, survey, you can add survey status, which is published or unpublished. Survey title, you can choose to hide the title. Do you remember in the general settings, I said that you can choose a title and then there is the questionnaire part that is going to have title. So you can hide the first one and the first one can uh, be just for yourself. Uh, also, you can um, show uh, section header information so that um, if your sections um, represent different surveys, your survey taker knows which section represents uh, which survey. You can also randomize uh, answers and questions so that every time it shows different order of answers and questions. And um, also it allows HTML uh, in answers, to so add HTML in answers. You can schedule your survey, which is also very um, it is a very nice trick. Also, you can number your uh, answers and questions. There are a whole bunch of tools that you can use. Mm, and you can enable um, live progress bar, which is important actually. If your survey uh, questions are going to be shown one by one, it is nice to uh, show how many uh, questions are there so that your question uh, taker knows how much time um, your four filler knows how much time they're going to spend on your survey and that's it about our settings okay so the last section that I'm going to uh, show you is the result settings and which is not less important as we have many interesting tools here you can redirect after submission uh, your form fillers can be redirected to um, a different website you can enable a bunch of buttons such as exit button restart button um, you can also you can even select the survey loader which i think is a very detailed customization and you can show social buttons such as facebook twitter and the most fun part is uh, the message. You can customize a message uh, in a WordPress, by WordPress, and uh, here you can um, customize it fully. Like you can add pictures, you can add your text, you can insert links and show a thank you message after the submission. So this is it uh, for the result settings. So this was it for our survey uh, and I would also like to mention that this plugin also has a pro version which includes a whole bunch of features and it takes survey making to another level. Um, you can mm, create surveys with conditional results, with skip logic, jump and many more. You can check out all these features. Uh, by the link that I'm going to leave below the video and also do not forget to follow, to subscribe, to uh, hit our notification bell if you want to meet again for uh, our upcoming tutorials and also leave a like and comment. Bye!